Hi, I'm Jeff Gonzalez, president of Trident Concepts, and today I'm here with Brownell's Daily Defense at the beautiful SIG Academy in New Hampshire to talk to you about class preparation. So, you've decided to attend your first training class, and hopefully you're really excited about this. There's probably some trepidation in there, and that's hopefully what this video is going to help do is to manage some of that anxiety. So what are some of the things that you might want to do to help prepare for the class? Well, first thing is to review all of the class material. Many instructors will provide a lot of information for their students as to how to prepare for their classes. And even if you can't find that information, you can still reach out to those instructors and ask, hey, is there anything specific that I should do to prepare for the class? Most of the time, they'll help direct you towards maybe a blog or a video or some other kind of resource that you can go to and read up or watch and kind of get a feel for what to expect. So my first recommendation is definitely to review the provided class material as well as anything else that you can find on the class. So there's other ways that you can learn about the class and learn about what, um, what is necessary to be successful in the class. One of the other things that I really encourage you to do is to review the gear list. Now, a lot of times that gear list comes across to the student as somewhat optional. Like, well, I don't have this, but I have that. My recommendation is to review that gear list because they took the time to put the gear list together with specific ideas about what they're hoping that their students bring. A lot of this has to do with safety, time management, curriculum, all these other things that help the class to be as successful as possible. So when it says you need to have three magazines but you only have two, you might need to at least consider, all right, let me reach out and find out if only having two is really a game ender. And you never know. It may not seem like a big deal, but it can affect the dynamics and the flow of the class when you don't have all the recommended equipment. Now, one of the other things that I also suggest is, let's just say that you don't have that third magazine. All right, you reach out and you ask, is it absolutely essential for me to have this third magazine? Because what we have found is that many times new gun owners are happy with the, the loadout that came with their purchase. But then they also realize, you know what, I probably want to get some extras. But what they found is that trying to find extra magazines is hard. So even if you do want to try to find extra magazines, you may not be able to just do availability. So reaching out to the instructor and asking, hey, is this essential, is a good thing to do. And then maybe even asking if they do require three magazines, well, do you have a loaner or rental that I could borrow? Because you never know, they may, I may make the offer right off the bat, hey, listen, don't worry, I got you covered, I'll, I'll bring extra magazines for you. But you just don't want to make that assumption. You want to at least kind of reach out in advance to determine whether or not it is, it is essential. The next thing you want to do is kind of get your personal gear and comfort items all taken care of. I recommend that you know, you've reviewed the gear list, you've kind of put everything together, and maybe what you should also do is start to plan for some some other things. Uh, one of the things that I talk about is, hey, make sure that you have some food and water. Water is an important thing. You know, maybe even some electrolyte replacements in case it's really hot wherever you are. Some snacks that you can kind of munch on during breaks and particularly salty snacks are helpful. These are all things that are going to help keep your energy level up, keep your mental acuity kind of dialed in and just help you to learn better in the class. And I like that. Other things that you might want to consider is like, well, what's the weather going to be like? Is it going to be hot? Is it going to be cold? Do I need to make sure that I bring sunscreen or bug spray? These are the types of things that will kind of help um, identify what sort of comfort items that you might need. Maybe some other things that you might want to think about are just some like little owie supplies, like maybe a few band-aids, maybe, maybe some other type of like burn cream in case you get sunburned or whatever the case might be. There's probably something valuable in bringing a few little things in that sense. Next, do a map study. Where is the class being held? How do I get there? And while a lot of times we rely on our GPS's to get us from point A to point B, it does not hurt to do a little advanced preparation. So look and see how long it's going to take for you to drive. See what kind of traffic flow patterns that you have to deal with. See what kind of you know, problems that you may come across. And that's going to lead us up into logistics. So if you're traveling to this class, you may want to try to do your planning for that early. And I mean, whether it be airfare, rental car, lodging, 
take the time to do that in advance. Waiting till the last minute sometimes can prove to be a little bit more stressful and that can affect how you are mentally prepared for the class. So if you can take care of these logistics in advance and just know that they're there ready for you, that can probably be a lot less of a headache for you in the class. But the other thing that I recommend is that if it's not clearly stated or clearly posted, you might want to reach out and ask, hey, what are some of the recommended lodging or what's the closest airport? While you could probably figure some of this stuff out on your own, it wouldn't hurt to maybe reach out and try to get that information in advance. Now, one of the other things that I tell people is be a good student. That means open mind. Try not to go there with any preconceived notions, or if you do, try to be open to new ideas and changes. I mean, that's why you're going there. You're going there to try to learn. So having a closed mind is not going to be helpful for your own skill development. So be open-minded. Be a good student means that you're listening, you're respectful, you ask questions if you don't understand, you understand the safety, you act with that in mind. What I hope that um, more people can appreciate is that putting a little bit of effort into being a good student will then help you get to the part of it being fun. And that's what I also try to tell people is that when you come to a class, yeah, there's probably going to be some failures, there's probably going to be some disappointments, there's probably going to be maybe you didn't reach the goal that you had set forth. Okay, but remember, try to have fun. This is a fun activity. It's a great, it's a great opportunity for you to go out and meet new people and do fun things and, and just it, kind of having that in the back of your mind that I'm going to go out there and have a good time, I am going to try to learn, and I'm going to make a lot of new friends at the, time, at the same time. This really sets the tone well for you to be prepared for that class and all of the things that are going to happen within that class. So if you have questions or comments or you have other things that you might suggest to other new shooters or first time class participants, please feel free to post them down below. I'm Jeff Gonzalez. Until then, take care and stay safe.